The Mechaber said you were able to read the Megillah whether you're standing or sitting. But if you the Balkore, you should not sit, you have to stand. Why? Because that's covered at Sibur. It's not respectful. So we're holding over in Mishnaburah. Ben Yoshev. If you're reading the Megillah for yourself, you could even read it in a sitting position. Miwa Brocha Yivorch Bamida. But the brocha should be read, it should be recited when you're standing. So Viri says, the, the Shartio, what about you read and you look for yourself and for a few people? It's not, it's not a minute. There's no minute. They should also stand. Why? Because he says, since we say Shomea Kaone, so when he's saying the bracha, well, you're saying it, so if he has to stand, why are you different? You're no different than he is. That's what he says over here. Even though you're only answering Amen. Here. Just for the bracha. No, it's no, there's no minion. One person is most at three people. Now he says a brocha is most of them in the brocha. Each of them has an obligation to read. So he's mozi shemek on his mozi in the brocha. As they, as they, as he says the brocha, it's their brocha. So if it's their brocha, if he has to stand, then they're no less than he is. Therefore, they should all stand when they hear the brocha. That's what we're saying. Here, the Mishnah Right? Miu ha brocha yivorch v'amida. Although we're saying, you see, you see the Mishnah Baruch. Aleph, where the Aleph is. Aleph, Aleph. Right? He says, Miu, he says, even though you, the actual reading is sitting, in the sitting position, we are brocha yivorch v'amida. The brocha, you say, well, he explains in the Bishar Tzion, it's not only the one who is saying the brocha, it's the one who's being motzei. Because since they're being yotzei with Shemei Koner, therefore they should also stand, as, as he stands. Okay? Avalo Yikro, back to Mishabur Beis. Ratzlomedim Kore Bitsip Tsor Klikr Bamido, Vayim Beha Locha. Shetzidadu da Amida, Yidei Smicho Shori Lini Megil, it's interesting. A locha is, let's say, a person is about Kore. Based on the Gemara, it lets say you lean when you read. And you lean in a way where if you would take away what you're leaning upon, you would fall. No, that, no, but the ever did it, like sitting. What about if you're just leaning just to make it more comfortable for yourself? But even if you take away whatever you're leaning upon, you still st remain standing? That's still considered standing. That's not, that's not considered leaning. Okay? So he's saying over here that although, let's say, for Kriya Satori, you're not permitted the Balkore or the one who gets the Aliyah, he shouldn't be supposed to stand when he receives the Aliyah and the Balkore when he reads the Torah. If sometimes if he leans in a way where, as I said, you, you take away the bin, he'd fall. It's, it's not. It's not appropriate at all. It, that's considered as if he's sitting. That li that reading is sitting. But he says for Mikra Megillah, where it says you should read it, Amido. Here, even Ayde Smicha, it's permitted. So he said we have Sibir Alocha. He says he explains why the difference between this and that. Shmon Esrei. Same. All these. Anything that you have to stand, you're not supposed to lean in a way that if you would take away whatever you're leaning on upon, you're going to fall. Okay. Let's see the Mishnah Baruch. I mean, the Be'er Alocha. Ava yikro b'tziv miyushav l'chatchilo. Hinei b'mati Yehuda, mitzadi tzmicha muter. V'nirid b'shas atchak, yishlis m'razeh l'hokeh. He says, b'shas atchak, you can rely on this, on this position of the Mati Yehuda. Ki b'em b'smin ha'gmor koma, ma she'en kei b'atorah. V'osem halo b'dyevet gam kein yotza. We say, which is not the case by, by the Torah itself. Okay. So therefore, since actually in the physical sense you're standing, it's good enough. For Mikra Megillah, it's good enough. Okay? Vosel Chazon. Even though we say if you read privately, 
where you don't have a minion, you're able to read it sitting, but if it's a minion, a tzibur, the chazan, the balkori is not permitted to sit. Lozi tzibur hu inye kovot, ve'in roi lo'odom lach lo kovot la'atzmo, kozma sh'lo kibdu, this is something else, excuse me, this is the Ramo. The Ramo says, the person cannot read the Megillah on behalf of the Tzibur unless they give permission to read. Right? The person goes up, he reads the Megillah. Nobody ever gave permission. Figures, you know, Mitzah Boli Yotcha Atach Mitzeno. Kol HaKodim Zoha. He grabs the opportunity. Is he allowed? He should not go up unless, unless he's given permission to go to read it. He says, Lo Tzia Tzibur Hu Inye Kovot. It's a, it's a kavod to be to have a, the privilege to be motzi the tzibur. Unless he was asked to read, he was given the honor. He's not permitted to take the honor. Chose, what? General, generally. Chose That's only if he's not the set balkori, regular balkori. He does I mean, every Shabbos or every whatever you have in Gila, He always reads. He does not be told to read. He was appointed this is responsibility. It's understood. He doesn't have to wait. In a tzibur. Correct. Because we could read our tzibur. For him it's covered at tzibur. We are the tzibur. Right. The bracha is covered bracha. That's why you stand. So if it's covered bracha, Shemaya Kohen, that we all have to stand. Right. What do you stand when you say the bracha? It has nothing to do with the tzibur. Out of respect for the bracha, you stand. So the listeners. No, you're saying it for everybody. I mean, let's say you have six people. It's not a tzibur. So it's Shemaya Kohen, right? They're also Yosef with this bracha. So they have to stand during the bracha. That's Shemaya Kohen. Yeah, but there's a difference. The reading, what do I have to stand? What does the Balkari have to stand? Kovat at Sibur. That's when he reads the Megillah. Okay? Does the Sibur have to stand when they listen to the Megillah? No. Because they are the Sibur. Right? They are the Sibur. So they don't have to stand. But what do you stand for the Baruchah? Because that's covered Baruchah. It's unrelated to Sibur. When you say the Baruchah Megillah, you have to stand. But I'm not saying it. The Balkari is saying it. The answer is no, you are saying it. Because Shemir Kohonet, that is the equivalent of you saying it yourself. By yourself. You, should, you say the bracha, you should stand for the bracha, and then you sit down afterwards. Okay? No. No. No, no, no. No, it's a, no Chris at all. Only Chris at all. Yeah, yeah, because one represents HaKadosh Baruch one represents Moshe Rabbein, one represents Klaus, so you have to have three people. Not, not witnesses, not witnesses, not witnesses. There's no other witnesses. That's by Yehudu. It's not by Yehudu. It's not nothing. It's, it's, the, it's a reenactment of Sinai. That's why you have three. Megillah is just reading the Megillah. You only have somebody to assist them to assist them to fold it because because it's folded like like a letter. Right? It's folded. It's, it's, you don't read it like a scroll. They open it totally and they fold it over. And as they go, so you need somebody to assist them. That's why the person stands there. Help them, that's all. No, you know, he's not having mind to be most of you. He's, he's a proper Balkore, but he, you know, he's just visiting. Nobody asked him to go up. Right? So he has to be told to go up before he goes to he reads the Megillah. Otherwise, it's a disrespect. Where are you, where are you grabbing the honor? It's an honor. Even two people can read it simultaneously. Even ten. The Yotzim Hamel, it's understood, they Yotzim. They're reading it. Show me, man. Even though we normally say trey kol li lo mishtami, one can hear two voices simultaneously. But the Gemara says something which is special. A person is able to focus on one of the readings. You're not listening to all ten. You're able to focus on one 
of the readings, even though simultaneously, many other people are reading simultaneously. And they're all reading together. They're all in the same, the same place. That's it, Mishabura. Vyotim heim, vlaminu tre kolom shtami, shabit kamira, linikriya satora, shaduchti. The kriyazu chaviva vyosim me'ames. This, a person could apply himself sufficiently to be focused and listen properly, but you have to be focused. Because of the specialness of the Ness, of the story of Purim, which is the Ness, a person is able to be focused to that degree. date lishmo Therefore, a person could pay sufficient attention. It's not, it's not Choviv. No, no, no. We're talking about you have two Balkaris reading simultaneously. He says, but it's understood. Let's say a person feels whatever you want to say, he can't, he can't, can't pay attention. The, the simultaneous readings are distracting him. And as a result, he can't hear the words. It's no question. Did you hear it? Didn't you hear it? We're saying, even though many people are reading simultaneously, a person is able to focus. But factually, feel, you feel a person gets older. Can't pay attention. It's difficult. Right? Doesn't have the same... Uh, right? Well, that has to, you have to read it in order. You have to read it in order. I think even if you're reading at the same time, even they're reading at the same time, because the many voices reading, you, you can't, you can't pay attention, even on one of them. But you can. I don't know. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, but if, if they're one's ahead of the other. Okay. Especially if the Moshe has his questions, then it really is confusing. Okay. Okay. Sorach Lekrosa Kula. You have to read the, the Megillah its entirety. It has to be read, written, read from the text. That's a famous Gemara. The Gemara says in uh, Megillah, what happened? Rameir, you know, was a, was a sofer. Rameir was a sofer. And he was traveling. He didn't have a Megillah. So what do you do? So he first wrote it, and then he read from the Gemara that he wrote. Right? That's what he did. He goes, he, uh, if he could write it, evidently he do it by heart, right? So Koral Pelo Yotzo. No, he knew in advance, right? Koral Pelo Yotzo. So he wrote, so he wrote it on the cloth, uh, on the proper parchment, and then he read it from there. The Koral Pelo Yotzo. The Tzorch takes Suba Kula Lefonet Lechatkila. The whole, the entire Megillah was the whole Musik. The whole Megillah has to be written from the first letter to the last. All the words should be there. That's Lechatkila. Avo Bidi Evidim Hishmit Hasofer. Even if you find certain letters or missing, afilu up to fifty percent. Ukrom akore al peyotza. As long as the majority was read from the text, it's good enough. This is why he said earlier, you know, you should always read from the Gilad, even if you miss a few words, right? Or unless you read, you read from a chumash. You should follow the chumash, even though you're not yotzi the chumash. But let's, because the majority of the words you're going to hear from the balkore. Let's say there's a word where you're not sure if you heard it. So you read it in the Chumash. Even though reading in the Chumash is Koral Pet, it's like reading it from memory. You have to you have to say the word. You have to say you have to say it. No, that's reading. I, when I say reading, it's not an eye reading. You, but you're saying it from the text which is a printed text which is not a valid text. But it's no worse than saying it from not saying it from the text. Right? The Allah is as long as the majority is from the text, the Yotzeh. So if you don't follow in the Chumash, let's say you miss a word, you're not going to say that word. So if that's the case, you're not going to be Yotze. But if you're reading from the Chumash and you realize you're not sure if you heard the word properly, correctly, you read the word in the, from the Chumash, from the printed text. So th it's, so what is it? It's Koral Pet. It's not a problem. Because the majority, you heard from the Balkore, which is Shemei Kone, which was read from a proper Megillah. So it's not going to be a problem. Right. That's why it's always important to follow in the Chumash. No, that's not what we're saying. The majority has to be read from the text. Right. A kosher text. Let's say he didn't write the whole Megillah. 
So it's a valid Megillah. To be evident, it's a valid Megillah. Yeah, yeah, you'll be able to see that. No, so the majority read from the text. Right. The minority read from memory. Right. He said from memory. Right. So you'll see. That's your Mekona. Same thing. I'm not, I don't want to get with the percentages. Simple. He read 70% from the text, 30% he read from memory. And you're in the, the audience. You're the Tzibor. Are you Yotze or not Yotze? Yotze. Why shouldn't you be Yotze? Why is it worse than the person himself? But we just said that Tlachatchilo, everything should be read from the club. The Megillah has to be fully intact from the first letter to the last letter. With the Evid, as long as the majority is, is from a club, Yotze. No, years ago, you didn't have Megillahs like today. Today, you know, a bar mitzvah gets a, gets a Megillah. Years ago, you know, Megillah was usually inherited. I'm sitting in the 50s. Megillahs in the United States, the majority were all Megillahs. You never knew Megillahs in the United States. It could have been uh, four or five generations old. Very often, some of the words were actually uh, were either faded or actually erased. So you had the words missing in the Megillah. They used that's the kind of Megillah they read from. Of course, it was a bit the situation. They had no choice. That was the only Megillah available. So you read it. All the words are not there. Okay, as long as the majority of the words in the Megillah, it, it, the halach is, it's valid. It's a, it's a valid reading. And the Balkorim, because he knew, he knew that he read that word by heart. It's not a problem. We, obviously. Right, the Torah, of course. You have one letter missing. Right. It's a problem. Because there it's not all this. It's not only that. I mean, the Torah is puzzled. If you have a letter missing, the Torah is puzzled. Right. So you're not reading from a kosher Torah. But even if the Torah is fully intact, if you read any of the words by heart, you're not Yotze Kriya Torah. You have the full Torah there. And the Balkore picks his eyes up and he reads it from memory. He says the word from memory. Rather than from the text, you're not Yotze. Because every word that he's motzi in Tzim in Kriya's Torah has to be read from the, from the Torah itself to be continued.